Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be showing you how to replace the push button flusher in your toilet here. As you can see from ours, one of our buttons has broken off and we need to get it replaced. So we just ordered a new kit online from Kohler and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove that and get it reinstalled today. So our button here is really stuck. I've tried to uh, unscrew it, which you should do as you can see from the new one. It should just screw in and out of place. I can you know, move it off my hand, but this one seems to be stuck together. So I'm gonna get some pliers here and just try and separate it. So we're having a hard time getting this separated. So we're just gonna, we just sprayed some CLR on it. We're gonna let it soak and then hopefully we can uh, get it separated and get it out of there. All right, so after letting the CLR sit for a minute, uh, it came pretty easy. I was just able to, to unscrew it by hand. Looks like it's able to separate out now. So we've got both pieces here and we are, you can see how, uh, how much calcium and whatnot has been built up on that. But anyways, so now we can go ahead and get our new push button rod installed. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the, the silver piece here and just put it down underneath. So we have the push button housing here. And again, we're gonna screw it on. As you can see, we've got these two pieces here that are sticking out. We gotta just make sure that those are pointing down in towards the toilet tank. So when we put the rods here in, they're gonna be pointing downwards towards the tank. And this is where you've got our buttons, where the buttons are gonna go up top. Again, there's those holes where the, the rods are gonna go through and then you'll just be able to push the buttons. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is we just put the toilet lid back on um, with the housing bracket in. We've put some, what we did is we just, we got it uh, aligned with where the two rods are gonna be inserted. So you can see we're definitely gonna need to cut those down. You can just look and make sure that it's gonna be level, cut it down a little bit and below that based on the buttons. You can see they don't go all the way in there. So just, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just measure that and make sure everything aligns. So when you push the button, it, it goes down and it's, it's sitting in the right place. Something else you can do and what we've done is we have the existing rods. So we're just gonna cut it down to the same size and use those and that should theoretically work in terms of getting the right length so the buttons and everything align when you push it down. All right, so we're able to cut our rods down to the sizes that we need. So we're going to go ahead and get this assembled. We're just going to kind of tighten everything up here a little bit and then start putting all the pieces together. So we'll just tighten the nut on here. All right, so I'm just going to hand tight. Um, we should be good there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert the rods into the, the push buttons here. You'll see that obviously, again, the rods are different sizes and the push buttons, they have these holes that are different sizes as well. So we have our thicker one. I'm going to put this uncut side in here in case we need to cut this down in any more the lengths any, uh, if it's too long. So I'm just going to pop that in there and then do the same thing with this other side. Again, I put the clean cut site inside the push buttons. So that way, if I wanted to cut these down anymore, I could go ahead and, and do that to make sure that everything fits okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tank lid back on. And so again, we have our rods and our push buttons here. You just wanna make sure you get the skinnier rod and the, the skinnier hole here. So go ahead and just drop that in there. Same thing with the other side here. They seem to line up pretty well here. Um, they pop out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and push these down into place. You can see they're sitting a little bit high. So I'm just gonna push it down and this should click it into place and then it should sit level and we'll be able to test if it's if it's gonna flush okay. So here we go. So that seems to work. If it does end up being a little bit high, you can also just go ahead and trim it down a little bit, you know, on those those rough edges that we cut before, and it should it should help even it out. But based on what we have here, it looks good, and it seems to have been fixed the problem that we had before. So something else that just to know about all of this with the push buttons, why there's two different sizes of rods. If you have a bigger flush or a little flush, if you flush the smaller side, the smaller button that's tied to the smaller rod here. Um, it's going to do like a half a flush tank, but if you get the thicker rod, like the bigger button, it's like a full flush. The bigger flush will use more water and it's going to use the full tank. So that's what like this button, if you're to hit that, it's going to, it's going to essentially drain the whole tank and be a bigger flush. And so that's kind of what the difference is. Obviously for this situation, it's easier because we've got like the teal and the teal that match up and we know it's a smaller button with the smaller flush and then the bigger button aligns with the bigger rod and the bigger flush. Just, just something to know. And something you can do as well is like you can push the buttons and see 
with, and you can just test it and see which how much water is drained by each button push and you'll know which side it should be. Most are standard like this one, but in case you do run into something that's a little bit different, just, just an easy way to figure that out is, is testing the buttons and see how much water is draining from each flush. So we're gonna just go ahead and test it one more time just to make sure, so we're gonna push the flusher there. Sounds like it's working great. So let us know, hopefully this helps with uh, if you're running into the same issue. Let us know if you have any extra questions or concerns. Remember to subscribe to Big Hour Repairs. Thanks and have a great day.